Hey guys, so we haven't done a video of our uh, rabbit tree in a while, but my wife uh, apparently has, a, there's rabbit math as well as chicken math and animal math and everything else. But anyway, <laughs> let's check out all the new additions. Maybe I'll get her to tell us about them because uh, I don't know a whole lot about rabbits or any of the an other animals for that matter. I just kind of build stuff you know but I'm learning so come along and learn with me because uh, it's fun it's fun to know and learn and you know you can say that you do know and learn from us so here we go don't run away wife so rabbit tree um, the chickens obviously get to come in here because the rabbits drop their feed from the little boxes like that one and that one goes on the ground and then they pick it up so my wife and my son hung this cage up we used to have the hay down here now I don't know where we're gonna store the hay which means that I need to build more stuff for hay we redid some of the water because the cool thing now well the water's still the same the system is still the same we're not using it right now though because we're having issues with the with the nipples okay so i put a shutoff valve down there this shutoff valve is for our watering system watch water system okay off so those nipples back there on that half inch pipe are leaking which i gotta fix now temporary ran that water line it goes this way we have a water speaker right outside here's the back door these are our bucks and we have a sink now so we have a sink because this is the processing area and I've got some more stuff coming down the pipeline so that she can process all her animals here or all the rabbits here we have a drain that goes back out there to the back again crazy chickens lots of chickens I know who's got chickens if you guys want some oh and there's a pig too Okay, so back to the rabbits. We have all the mamas. It looks like that one's gonna have babies because uh, I got an email today saying that we need to put a box in there. And that's just a reminder that my wife does, which is kind of cool. I get it. She gets it. We all get it. So these guys are ready to be. These are weaned. So, and these are the babies from a month ago. Probably six weeks now. Okay, a month and a half ago. And again, all our does are here. These are all does and these are grow outs. So grow out, grow out, bucks. And I'm going a little fast because I'm trying to do a shorter video. And again, grow outs. Are these, have these been, they've been sexed too? Uh, yeah, we've got three does and two. <laughs> that white one that's licking you is a doe. This one's a doe? She's a good size too, so. She might be a keeper? She would be a good breeder. Okay. So she's about to have babies in the next couple of days, right? Mm -hmm. Today's and day 28. So day 28, they get nest boxes. So day 28, they get nest yeah. boxes. Ow. I just hit my head again. These babies are about not quite two weeks old, maybe 12. So they're starting to open their eyes. Little jumping beans. Um, hers are like a day behind these. These have their eyes open. Anyway, so we try to clean out nest boxes and and get them to explore a little bit. See, he's got his eyes open. Look at all the colors. Beautiful babies. How many does she have? She had four. Last time she had twelve. Oh, okay, so this one was a. Maybe the heat iron had something to do with it. Is that warm? I'm not sure. Not sure. But and that's the way they can get away from their babies. Up at the box. Okay. So here we go, guys. New addition, y'all. New addition. Not not the not the music group back in the so, 90s, right? Or early 20s. Me Whatever. And a, me and a group of friends um, acquired a group of rabbits. It's a big word. Um, acquired. So someone in um, the Texas A&M um, 
composite rabbit group um, acquired, his family acquired the, what was left of the Texas A&M uh, Kingsville University Breeding Project. Um, they shut down a couple years ago. Their family acquired what was left. Well, here we are a few years down the road and they have decided uh, to move and not continue the rabbitry. So they put them up for sale and me and a group of friends acquired what was left. Um, so I got this beautiful chocolate dough, which I'm really excited about. She's beautiful. So you bought more rabbits is what you're saying? Kind of. Is it really buying? Yeah, it's buying. That's and buying rabbits. She's gorgeous. And her little litter of bunnies, which are also super, super cute and sweet. And then we acquired this pretty girl. Um, they got here last Tuesday. So we've had him for a week, but he traveled from just south of Houston. I wouldn't, she's still not real sure. Um, he traveled just south from just south of Houston to Canton. Um, so these rabbits have been through it. Um, they were on a five hour plus road trip. They had to be unloaded from the trailer and then sorted. And then I moved them into a temporary cage and then they rode in the back of the truck again to bring them home. Um, when she got home, I got her bread and so she was a little cranky, which I forgive her for because we put her through it um, to get her home. So her name is Nube. The chocolate dough back there is Coco. And these are my new additions. So we're excited to be able to continue um, some of those original Timbuk lines. Um, there were a couple that were original from the a and M breeding project, uh, a buck, which is at a friend's house. Um, these were not originals, but they came from the same lines. Um, so we're just hoping to complete or continue breeding rabbits from and breeding for for qualities like heat resistance. PJ at Rose Oak is who we got our original breeders from. Chunky is from PJ. Chunky Rose is Oak. right. She's probably the biggest doe that we've ever had. Yeah, and she's beautiful. Um, well, I'm hoping that she's bred, but it also looks like she's eating hay instead of stashing hay, so that's not great. Either way, I think that we've we've kept one of her daughters, I did right? Keep one of her daughters, and her daughter is bred and also due in the next couple of days. So we'll see. So if anything, we'll give her. I mean, we're, we're not breeding anymore after the ones that you just did, right? No. Like no. we're done as far as the summer goes. Tamuks are able to be bred through the summer bucks don't typically lose um their fertility they don't go through um heat sterility like a lot of rabbits do once you hit 85 degrees the males go through heat sterility to monks typically do not now last year i um i bred a doe through summer in middle of july um and she took and she was in the middle of kindling. Now, last year was incredibly hot. It was hot, hot. and dry. It was um, record-breaking heat last year. So she uh, was kindling in middle of July, like 110 degree day, and she started seizing, and uh, we ended up losing her. And that was our very first heat-related loss. And my personal belief, as far as that goes is just because you can breed them through summer um, doesn't always mean that you should those are my personal beliefs that was my favorite doe um, and the first one I've lost to the heat I'm I don't need rabbit to produce over the summer I'll, I'll get my production done through the remaining eight or nine months um, I won't do that to another rabbit just because I can um, but that's my personal philosophy. Um, they are 
made to be able to breed and obviously they did breed it worked he wasn't sterile it was a hundred and plus degrees he managed to get her bread but it was a lot it was really hot and then we lost her so I won't breed through the summer again unless we have an exceptionally cool summer which they're saying that this year is supposed to be so we'll see if we don't you know get into the 110s and max out at 102, well, you know, that's not so bad. But we'll see, the plan is to just, this is our last breeding, everybody's supposed to have babies this week. And um, they will have babies in about three weeks, because I just bred them, because we just acquired them. And that will be it for the remainder of summer, probably. She didn't acquire, she bought. Rear <laughs> There it is, y'all. Um, I was trying to keep it short, um, but we never keep it short. So, again, uh, my wife has done a little bit of work uh, remodeling her rabbit tree. Um, I'm super proud of that sink that we put in here for her. My dad helped out with that, which is kind of cool. Doing things with my dad out here is always uh, is always fun. So, because um, he's got his ideas and I got my ideas and we kind of make it work. But um, again, just a little tour that took a little bit longer than I expected, but we're going to roll with it. And uh, if you guys have any questions about, you know, our rabbits, uh, we are here to answer them for y'all. So again, guys, appreciate y'all's time and um, have a good one. Also, check out P Squared Farms, Purple Lamb Homestead. Uh, Kingdom Farms and Growing Branches. They were um, our sister farms that uh, acquired the remainder of the rabbit tree. Um, so they will have some rabbits available soon. Where are we checking those guys out at? Um, Instagram and Facebook. Okay, cool. See? There you go, guys. Uh, which means that they will have rabbits in the future. Um, reach out to them if y'all can't get a hold of us. If, well, if you guys, we're in East Texas, by the way. Uh, just uh, north of Canton and uh, everybody's in the area within 30 to 45 minutes of Canton roughly out here in East Texas so uh, if you guys have any questions you know uh, in these particular tamucks or you, you know you're interested in purchasing some you guys can reach out to any of those people that she mentioned or you guys can reach us on our Facebook page which is Catalina Acres and uh, that's the best way to get a hold of us um, so, again, thank y'all. Appreciate it. Have a good one.